cruising, cruising, cruising. I tell you, it's just so hard to bring a lot of elegant clothes for captain's night and elegant night because you need more bags. And I tell you, <laughs> these baggage fees on these airlines has gotten nuts. I want to talk to you about it, see what you think. Hi, welcome back to my channel, Vet Hat Travels and Eats. I'm your host, Thomas, and I do want to talk to you about something that I've noticed over the years. Been cruising for 20 plus years, and I've noticed how the elegant nights, the captain's nights have changed. People just don't dress like they used to. But we're going to get into it. First, I want to uh, ask you to subscribe to my channel, like it, share it, you know, comment below and tell me what you think after this video is over because I want to hear your opinion as well. But what I want to talk to you about is that I believe the reasons why people don't dress like they used to is because baggage fees has gotten ridiculous on the airlines. I tell you, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, I do know for a fact that uh, being a veteran, Allegiant, I do want to put this out there, Allegiant uh, will allow veterans to check bags for free. Now, you may want to double check that and, you know, there may be other specials to come up later on with different airlines, but I knew, I do know that as of now. But I'm telling you, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind um, dressing down, but like I said, I've just seen this change over the years. Um, we just came off of a Royal Caribbean cruise out of Los Angeles. And I'll tell you, their elegant night, there were people with shorts on, uh, you know, dressed really down, you know, for that affair. And I can remember back, because we're Carnival cruisers, I can remember back uh, 10, 10 years ago, uh, people would just get tied up. Well, I know for the men, you know, we get tied up, suited down, blah, blah, blah. But see, once you do that, it's hard to uh, try to, you know, limit your luggage or suitcases because, you know, when you bring your dressy clothes, that means you're going to need more room in your suitcase, probably more suitcases, period, you know, more baggages like a garment bag and stuff like that. But it, it's just changed now. It's changed now. Um, I don't know you, you all may feel different, but I don't mind dressing down. I'd rather be more comfortable. And one thing I do like also is that I like to, uh, be the first ones off the ship. Once you get back, you know, to self assist, um, for the, all those who haven't cruised before at the end of the cruise, they'll offer you, uh, a chance to take your own bags off. And when you do that, you're the first ones off of the ship. Otherwise, you know, you just sit your bags out. You know how you uh, experience cruises know. You know what I'm talking about. You set your bags out the night before and uh, you get back in port and they will take all your suitcases down for you. But then when you get down to customs, you got to look for your bag. Sometimes they don't have it to where, you know, they give you that little slip to put on your bag. They tell you a zone that it's going to be in. And this has happened to me and my wife several times. We have... Uh, uh, had zone tags on our bags and when we get down to customs our bags are not in the area where they're supposed to be so lately me and the wife have been doing the self-assist and i really like it because if you have a flight to catch and you have to get to the airport really really fast do the self-assist because it's quicker it's a little bit more convenient to me uh, like i said this last time on royal caribbean uh, the navigator of the seas, as a matter of fact, we were the first group off the ship. I think we were like maybe in the top 12. We went down to customs and I mean, we were out. I, it wasn't even 10 minutes. It wasn't 10 minutes, but it's just something how I'm just talking about how I've seen the change over the years. Now, again, how do you feel about that? Do you like dressing down on uh, cruise ships? Do you Feel like you have to dress up on cruise ships you know on those elegant nights on those captain's nights when you're supposed to wear your best that's the way it used to be but how do you feel 
you know, I can go with a two piece or just a shirt and pants. I, you know, I'm out of that suit and tie. I'm retired. I don't have to please anybody but my wife. That's it. So tell me what you think. And by the way, this is me and my wife's 12th anniversary. So we we're celebrating the day, but I did, did want to get this video off today. Um, we've been married 12 years and I love her and we just have a wonderful life together. So, you know, I just, I just, we got to get, I got to get off here so we can go celebrate. All right. Talk to you guys later. Tell me what you think. Comment below. You know, how do you feel? Do you like dressing down on ships? Do you miss dressing up like that? You know, with the baggage fees being real high and stuff like that. Tell me what you think. All right. Talk to you guys later. Out for now.